All right, welcome to the audio commentary for Citrus. Uh, the this is the fourth track of the album, and sitting with us here today is James Light, our pr- longtime producer and friend. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Interesting thing about uh, Citrus is that we were trying to go for this very uh, quirky rock song and. Um, I believe like I had this major seven chord progression that that sounded very like weird to me but then I kind of grew on it and then I started singing and singing and then I, I showed you the guys and it eventually morphed into like almost a a metal kind of chorus right the da 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 that yeah and then, yeah yeah um lyrically I was writing about this uh kind of girl that uh people are always like fantasize about like wow this this is a great girl to be with but then uh you know like you don't know what entails being in a relationship with this like magical girl that you you, you always see or you like are in close proximity with lah. um which is kind of befitting the musical style of of the song you know like our choruses our our choruses are very like angry and and like heavy sounding which is kind of like the the bad things that might happen and then like the verses are this like weird quirky like spacey what's going on am i <laughs> what am i doing kind of like feel uh, yeah and i don't know james like when we send this song to you like what do you think about it Wow, that was very long ago. How many years was that? Three? Three? We started working in 2018, right? Two, yeah, 2018. 2018. 2019. 2019, yeah. 2019, I think. Demo started around 2018. Yeah. So when I first heard it, I can't remember if this was the first song. It might be. A lot of major sevens. The first impression was very Cardigans, actually. <laughs> okay, and of course, it doesn't go into a Cardigan song, right? No, it goes it into like this borderline <laughs> metal. Yeah. And actually, side note, I actually recall, I actually layered some guitars in there as well. Yes. Especially the heavier parts, lah. Cause, yeah, as I, as a producer, I have a particular vision on how I want it to sound. Mm. So yeah, I, I think it's an interesting song, and it actually sets the tone for the entire EP. Cause previously, you know, I, I worked with you guys for all the past releases, right? And it's always been okay. You yeah, rock, indie rock, a little bit of punk sometimes. The the older stuff try a little bit heavier genres and things like that but um yeah this one is really more consistent across the board as a particular sound mm-hmm. almost like you're maturing which is a good thing and because of that it was of course a little bit more challenging for me i had to make sure that uh i carry that and and help you fulfill that vision yep yeah um i think the most interesting thing that we had to do was earnest guitar parts yeah the 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 soup i think we stacked like like four overdrive pedals and we were trying to blend the different gain and mixes yeah of of the the pedals right yes uh yeah that was tricky we were Mm -hmm. trying to find the perfect amount of gain that will not like totally destroy the sound but because we wanted the clarity as well uh, but then we needed that the aggression also so it was yeah it was it took some time right like just it playing was, around with that like few overdrive pedals fast pedals even yeah, yeah we had like your pedals like laid on the floor yeah and we were just like patching in patching out different methods yes yes yeah even yeah I mean I think like especially when it when the chorus hits the, the aggressive parts uh, I don't know about you but I I, I, I think I was thinking about like Queens of the Stone Age, like that was part of my influences. Yeah, like the song her little sister. Yeah, yeah the yeah. the guitar tone is very very much yeah, yeah that kind of vibe. Yes, yes. Yeah, in- yeah. interestingly, I I don't listen to that that music. Okay, <laughs> which I uh, I think to me it works for me lah, cause mm. I rather be a little bit more detached to what you guys listen to. Yes. So that um we can come up with something a little bit more refreshing, if not. Yeah, we probably just sound like a replicate of a yeah, replica I, of what you. I think to. that's important to bring all of our influences together. Yeah. And there's a lot of influences you guys listen to. 
<laughs> we have too many influences. <laughs> yeah, That's, yeah. Which is also sort of like the, the sometimes when I work on the songs, then I I sort of worry if it becomes like a Frankenstein. Oh, okay. But I guess some tracks are like Frankenstein. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But in, it, it, in the in the in the name of experimentation, uh, and, and just building that particular sound for the band. Yeah. Yes. And and I think, yeah, it'll be exciting to do. I always, you know, now that we've done mastering everything and putting everything together, uh, I still enjoy listening the the whole five tracks from start to end. Uh, not not in a self indulgent way, <laughs> but in a sort of like, just I guess reminiscing how we all put it together. How and also it's, it's spread across so many years, right? Yeah, and yeah. with COVID and everything, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's sort of like a like a time capsule, lah. It is, everything. it is. Every time I I listen to the tracks, I I'm, I just try and remember like I, I recorded every single part with like each of the members and like we had decided on parts, but then when we went to record it, like things changed. And then when I was recording vocals with with you, it it changed again, and then like. When we had like the rough mixes, I sent it to the band. You know, we were listening to the rough mixes for like, don't know how many months, and then when we received the mix, it's like, oh my goodness, this sounds so different. <laughs> What was yeah. this like? Yeah. And then like it, it we got so used to the rough mixes that it, it took us a while to like, un- like finally like get used to the mix. Yeah. 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 I guess that's that's why I like working with guys lah, cause it's not. <laughs> sort of like it's um, not a straight road. <laughs> not a straight road, yeah. and n- n- no, no ego involved, lah. So it's really just trying to get get a, a, as best of a product as we can have, a best of a song that we can get to, lah. Yeah. yeah, and and that's why it is sort of like it's open communication. Whatever you like, you don't like, and then we can talk about it, and then yeah, we can work, work step at a time. I guess also that's why it takes so, it took so long. Mm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm happy with the result. Yeah, I'm very very happy and uh, very yeah. very thankful to to have you as our mentor and like guide in our musical journey as a band. Thank you yeah. so much for having me. Yeah, thank you, James. Thank Yay! You. Yes, thank you. And yeah, this is the end of Citrus. Thank you for listening.